What's up YouTube? The Hodgeville here. And our topic for today is the relationships and connections between languages. So first of all, we all know that there's language families and dialects. Like the Romance languages like Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, uh, French. Asian languages are related to Mandarin, Cantonese, Japanese, uh, Korean, all of those things, Vietnamese. There's similarities between all of these languages. And, and really, now I'm beginning to see that for language learners, knowing about the different language families and how they're related, it's a big advantage. I mean, think about it. For a language learner, if you already have some of the knowledge of of those related languages now you have a head start now you're not starting from square one when you go to begin a new language if you already have some knowledge of Spanish you're not starting at square one with French or Portuguese you understand what I'm saying if you already have knowledge of Chinese characters now you're not starting at square one when you start Japanese and have to pick up some kanji this actually is like a hack for us that we can use. We can use basically our experience and the time that we've already put into previous languages. Use that to hack a new one. Make that process way faster, way simpler and easier than even possible before. Than even possible than if you didn't have that prior knowledge. And I also like that through use of the internet and use of like social media, we can very simply do things like learn Portuguese but through Spanish instead of English. Or learn Cantonese through Mandarin, you know, again instead of your native tongue or English. These things are possible now. And the more polyglots and language learners that begin to use these tools and techniques the more growth we'll see in our community the better people will be able to speak new languages and it'll happen even faster yeah I've definitely I've been having these thoughts lately because I'm able to use Spanish to pick up on Italian and I'm able to use Mandarin to pick up on Cantonese and I'm seeing it's a much faster intuitive process and I know it's definitely been changing my own way about about going about picking up these new languages love sharing with you guys if you enjoy the information and language channels go ahead like and subscribe be sure to check out the video description uh, may have some gears or links to different blogs enjoy your journey guys